In this video I'm going to cover how to create graphics in Adobe Photoshop and then export them ready for importing into Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to start with a texture file and I've just grabbed a simple texture file from this site here. And the first thing you want to do with any image file is make sure that you're working with power of two dimensions. So that's these numbers that you can see on the screen here. Creating a file that works with pixel dimensions of one of these numbers means that you're creating a file that is going to work more smoothly within a real-time gaming engine. Now for most things it doesn't matter whether your images are square or not so they don't necessarily have to be 1024 by 1024 they could be 1024 by 256 for example but for tileable textures it's often preferable if they are square so in this case in order to find out the size of my image I'm going to go up to the image menu and choose image size and you can see immediately that my image is not exactly square now normally you'd want to stick with keeping an image um, proportional but um, because this is a seamless tiling image I don't want to adjust the image in that way so I'm just going to change the height here to be 1024 as well so that it matches as square and go OK. Now I'm going to save my file as a Photoshop file because that's the file format I'm going to use to bring into Unreal Engine 4 and I'm going to call this file underscore D standing for D for diffuse map and I'm going to save it in my exercise files folder. Okay so that's all I have to do to get a texture file but I now want to get a normal map for my texture file and to do that I just need to apply a filter to it. So Photoshop comes with under the 3D filter menu comes with two filters one to create a bump map and one to create a normal map. I'm not going to create a bump map today but you could just as easily do it from here. We're just going to create a normal map. In earlier versions of Photoshop you could just choose create normal map and that would be all that you needed to do but if you have Photoshop CC 2015 you'll get this window that pops up and it's fine to just leave pretty much everything that's in there set to its default apart from you want to choose texture map from this object menu down here. Now if you haven't fiddled around with it Photoshop will have give you a 0.5 blur on your image and you can if you like move the slider here to put it back to zero. I just did a test of both with a tiny bit of blur and without and actually it looked a bit better with the blur once you got it into Unreal Engine 4 so that's something you could have a play with. After you've done that just click on OK. Again I'm going to go file save as so I'm not going to save over the top of my texture that I just created and I'm going to call it mattress in for normal map and save it in the same folder as a Photoshop file so Photoshop file format and click save. So that's all I need to do to create my two texture files. So let's now import those two texture files to our Unreal Engine 4 project. The first thing I'm going to do is right click and create a new folder and I'm going to call that my imports and then I'm going to double click to go inside that folder. Now I'm going to click on the import button and navigate to the folder that I saved my files in, select them both I'm just holding down the command key to select two items and click open and it can take a while to import. So my two files have now imported. Sometimes when you import a normal map you'll get a little message popping up down the bottom where Unreal Engine will say that they've detected that what you've imported is a normal map but you can see when I roll over this normal map that its compression settings are for a normal map so it's detected that already. Because they have asterisks on them we know they're not saved so I'm just going to click save to save them. 
and now let's create a quick material using this. So to do that I'm going to click on my texture file and right click and choose create material. That's then going to create a default material using that particular texture and I'm just going to accept the default name by hitting return and then I'm going to double click to go inside that texture so that I can add my normal map. I'm just going to pop it up here to make it full screen. So you can see it's come in with my texture sample and we've already got a bit of a look of mattress look happening here but it'll look even better once we get our normal map in. So I want to add another texture sample node to put my normal map in so I'm just going to copy the one that's already there and paste to get a, another texture sample and with that selected I'm going down here to choose my normal map um, mattress n normal map from the little pop down. So I just clicked on this pop down to choose that normal map. And then I'm just going to connect up by clicking and dragging that normal map to the normal pin on my mattress material. And now you can see we've got a pretty good looking mattress material happening. So I'm going to save that and go back out to my main project. And now I could, if I wanted to, apply that material to an object in my scene. And you can see I now have that material applied.